third grade, today in between you and a partner, there is some red paint. You are first going to finish outlining your black Sharpie all over your entire robot. And then I also want you to add a horizon line. So that'll be kind of where the sky meets the ground or the wall meets the floor. It's simply just a line in the middle of the paper. We are going to make one half of our background orange and one half of our background red. And you get to choose top or bottom what you want to do. So if you wanted red on the top, you paint it there. If you want red on the bottom, you paint it there. So what we're going to be doing is you're going to share the cup with the person next to you. Today we have red. Next time we'll have orange. And you are going to outline um, your robot first. So you kind of gently take the paint at the tip of the paintbrush and try to not paint on him too much. Now, if you end up painting on him and make a little mistake, of course, when it's dry, we can draw it back in for you or you can just paint right over it. It has to be dry, though, to fix any areas. If you're in a tight space like this, you want to use the tip of your paintbrush and just take your time. Then when you get to fatter areas, you can kind of squish your paintbrush down to get a wider brush stroke. And you're just going to go around your entire robot first. In the little spots, just using the tip of the brush. To try to gently do it as po um, clean as possible. We're not using water today because we're using liquid tempera. And it's, it's kind of fluid enough. Sometimes we use water to water something down, like thicker paint. But today... You should be just fine doing this. You have tablecloth down, and that is just to keep um, the tables from getting too messy. So at the end of class, I will be looking for helpers to collect the tablecloths, and we put them away. Um, if there's a third grade class after you, like on a Monday, then um, it will depend whether we collect it or not. It might stay out for the next class. Um, so you're going to go all the way through, all the way around. It's okay if it hits a little bit of your tablecloth paper. Just don't intentionally paint the tablecloth paper. It gets other people possibly covered in your paint. Um, it also encourages other people to paint intentionally on the tablecloth, so I don't want you to do that. And then once you have those areas outlined, then you go in and fill in your brush strokes. Now you want to look nice and neat, so... Usually, when you're a painter, you go in the same direction. You don't want to go all over the place. It doesn't look as nice. So paint up and down or side to side and stay in that direction, and it will look even nicer. When you are done today, on the counter, there will be a bucket of soapy water. You can, actually, you know what? You're third graders. There's not going to be a bucket of soapy water. You are going to rinse your brush under cold wa water, swirling it in the palm of your hand, putting it tips up in the container. Um, at your table, you can leave the red paint or the orange paint um, for the next person. We will be doing the next side next time. All right. At the end of class, this goes on the rack. Thank you for listening.